What the hell was that? This dagger looks different. Hello, and with that, welcome back to Let's Play Call of Cthulhu. We found the right dagger, although he says it looks different. It took me five to six tries. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. I ran, screamed, broke a pane of glass. You were in the next room and you didn't hear a thing. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. The door was blocked. I got in as soon as I could. I like to look after my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I've still got things to settle with Irene. Chapter 7 The Nameless Bookstore The Chambler turned out to be much more than an artwork painted by Sarah Hawkins as a huge creature came out of the painting to attack Pierce. After a hard fight, the detective, we don't know if it was a real fight, right? The detective managed to send it back into the painting. He later discovered that the dagger he used to repel the creature had been sold to Sanders by a man named Algon Drake, owner of the nameless bookstore. Pierce decided to pay the library a visit. Is that blood? I think so. Mm-hmm. Will do, will do, will do. I think that is good. Yep, sanity. Fine, shaken we already had. Loose, okay. 
Let me go through that too. I think all of that we already had. Cult, let's see. The painting was exposed in Francis Sanders gallery, but I think the creature no longer requires it for movement. It went to hunt down Sanders in the cellars of the Riverside Institute. I do not know where it comes from, but one thing is sure, it's starving. Did I succeed in sending it back to its world? I am not sure. Dagger of the Ancients. The exceptional dagger of Ottoman, Ottoman origin probably dates from the 16th century. It bears the elder sign on its hilt. It apparently belonged to Pagal Ibrahim Pasha, Grand Vizier of the Court of Suleiman the Magnificent. Legend tells that the Pawagali used the symbols, symbol on the dagger to protect the court from a creature that hunt, haunted sorry, the mirrors of the palace. What is certain is that Suleiman had his vizier executed. Did he fear him after this demonstration of power? Might be. Sanders residence, the Sanders house, all in shades of red and in gold, is impressive. Yeah, it looks nice, but nothing matches the private gallery of Francis Sanders. The place is huge and entirely dedicated to his passion for traveling and macabre works. Defaced figures of virgins, sacrif um, sacrificial daggers, statues, statues, I'm sorry, of monsters, and the painting that led him to his demise takes center stage. A Champler painting by Sarah Hawkins, a close friend of the couple. What happened in this room, I will never be able to forget. Okay, good. Then at least we finally went through the clues and everything. All right, right. Where is the bookseller? An old diary. The pastor declared can I open no, himself to be a prophet. He renounced God and worshipped a strange pagan entity with a monstrous appearance. His wife tried to reason with her husband, but in vain. He was convinced that he must listen to the voice in his head because it holds the truth. That's bad, Freud's, right? The interpretation of dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. This practical word written by Sigmund Freud for psychologist, written by, ah, okay, sorry, describes the techniques of analytical interpretation of dreams. The analysis must follow several rules, especially that of free association principle announced by Freud. At the end of the 19th century, it treats, it, it treats dreams as a way of um, revealing buried desires. I cannot believe that this theory is applicable to my nightmares. Hmm. A Parisian colony led by Reverend John Wickwood settled on the island during the 17th century. The name they named the island Darkwater because of dark shades of the sea. They believed it was because of the peculiar color of the rocks surrounding the island. They erected the first building, among which was the Hawkins Manor, the church and the cemetery. The red documents and handwritten notes they left speak of nightmares and dev um, deviant behaviors. They disappeared at the beginning of the 18th century. That's obviously very, very dark, right? Where's he? Oh, is this an ape? In the 19th Darkwater history, century as the American whaling industry reached its peaks in the rest of the world, whales gradually disappeared from the water surrounding Darkwater. This phenomenon appears even more mysterious because up till then the region was a favorite refuge, refuge for setter scenes. What is that? In 1847, after months of pursuit, Skidder returns to port with a gigantic creature on board. Its crew asserts that the sea monster had eaten all the disappeared whales. Okay. After a night of ferocious combat, the survivors managed to drag the beast onto the waiting ship. Oh boy. You know what that means, right? Darkness. Darkness will fall again. A precise and as precise and illustrated with, a, with as much detail as the first volume, this book focuses on healing surgery specific to malformations and motor disorders. What happened here? Okay, then 
let's reconstruct. Let's start over. Where did the blood? Seems like amateur work. Cannot enter this room. No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt then? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What killed all these animals? What the... Charles Hawkins? Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Ah! Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in the safe. But we cannot see what. They put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? This key that bears the Elder sign is the only one able to protect your sight. It is Saki. It is in the form of a cylindrical medallion hanging at the end of a heavy chain. Hundreds of years ago, the star and the branch whose purpose is to push back the forces of the great old ones were engraved at its center. Everything points it to, to points it being Charles Hawkins that tore it from the last owner an Egyptian antique dealer. Wait, give me a second. Yeah, sorry, I tapped out. Egyptian antique dealer in press cuttings that mention the misdemeanor, the date of the robbery coincides with the last of Hawkins' trips to Cairo. It remains to be seen whether he knows of the true purpose of the artifact. Try to find it. Hmm. Can't open that. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. A page seems to be hidden here. It is possible to read. If somebody finds these memories or memora memoirs, there will be no doubt that I am in serious trouble. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality in order that they be recovered and burned. The funeral one must be given to my dear mother if she's still of this world. The following message is capital importance. Whoever reads these lines and demonstrate acuity as sharp as mine can hope to gain access to my most precious possession. It lies within my safe and the clues to the combination are to be found in three cylinders, each hidden where life and study combine the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered and even as the celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but this order is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason unusual prevails in the end. If by any chance, if by chance a person, or should I say genius, was to match my intellect and find a combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its content into the safekeeping of my friend and colleague Professor Armitage of Miss Cantonic University. The content of this safe is not only a vast digest of knowledge, but also a weapon that is far too dangerous for it to fall in the wrong hands. I hope that you will be able to appreciate the danger that this represents and that you you will act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be there to guide you nor to suffer from your actions.
The last that can be said about this book is that its title is well conceived. The illustrations of human and anonymous, anonym, oh my goodness, and an anatomy and dissection methods presented are illustrated in great detail. You have to you have to have a strong heart or the detachment proper to the doctors to consult the pages. What a strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. A strange amulet. The pendant is in the shape of a large dog. I don't know. No, I don't know what it represents. I might find out more by searching the bookstore. Oh boy, there's gonna be a Arc lot conditions. of reading. Never heard of him. A collection of poems by Edward Pickman Derby, also known as the Nightmare Lyrics. This collection of poems was sensationally received when first published in 1908. Derby was only 18 years old. This volume is part of the Arkham Anthology, a luxurious collection of treaties and works on esotericism and the supernatural. How many volumes are there in this collection? A book of the esoteric philosophy and the key text in Madame Blavatsky's Theosophical Movement, written by Helena Petrovna Blavatsky. The volume was part of the Akemi that we had. Another volume by Arkham Editions. A book of spells supposedly written by the legendary King Solomon. It contains various rituals of invocation and rituals, of course, re-edition by Claudia D. Waits, based on L.W. D. Laurent's original. Arkham editions. Never heard of him. Opera, opera in eight acts by Penvenuto Chietti, Brodigera, an infamous lyrical work published in Italy in 1768. It is said that the opera was performed only once, resulting in an audience riot that left several dead and missing. This volume is part of the. Okay. How many volumes are there in this collection? A collection of long-term astrological predictions written in words, written by Nostradamus, translated by E. Leone and Theophilos Wrightbridge. Another volume by Arkham Editions. An ancient Frisian manuscript translated by William R. Sandbach. The text, the text claims that in the distant future, Europe and other continents were controlled by the mothers of this people, and moreover, that our alphabet is derived from the Frisian language, Arkham whatever that Editions. is. Never heard of him. Written by Herms Trismichius, translated and edited by Nathaniel M. Coppelius. This collection of texts on different beliefs was written by a legendary philosopher. It includes a translation of the Emerald Tablet, a popular text among the 16th century alchemists. How many volumes are there in this collection? A collection of essays on American folklore and urban legends written by Albert Wilmarth, professor of the Mis Miskatonic University. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Uh, read what it. does this strange book contain? This book contains unholy knowledge. This collection catalogues and classifies creatures that I have never heard of. Divinities from the stars, creatures capable of traveling from one dimension to another. It presents itself as the reference work on the pastry of the myth without giving the details on the mytholo mythology to which it pre refers. The pages are covered with fantas- oh my goodness, fantasmagic illustrations. And that with game saved, you guys actually brings us right now to the end of this wonderful little episode. It was a little longer, but that's fine. For now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then uh, to the cylinders, we listen in the next one. I promise. In the next episode, until then, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.